So today, um, today is gonna be a good day. I have found wheels for the Black Z. They're not exactly what I was looking for by any means, but I think they're gonna be really cool. They're pretty different and I don't know, they're hot. They're gonna look good. So, and in worst case, if I don't like them, spring's coming and everyone starts buying new wheels in the spring. So, easy to sell. But DJ's actually gonna be driving because my Saturn is like, the wheel bearing's about to explode. Uh, it's pretty sketchy. So, um, gonna wait for DJ. Uh, he's gonna come here. We got a two hour trip up there and two hour trip back, of course. So, go get them. It's already pretty late. Come back, put them on, see how they look, and do all that good stuff. So in the meantime, so I'm gonna take the wheels off the Z now and get on Jack's hands and get it ready for the new wheels. All right, Donald, let's start this voyage. Let's start it. In the city rain. I'm driving the foreign. We got the Cumbies rum. We got the Cumbies pizza. Ready to go. So let's start our long journey to Masha Chooses. Yo, what is, what the hell is this? It's a bed on a it's bed. It's a bed on a bed. Welcome to Massachusetts. Stop to piss, just five minutes out, and it's time to go grab the wheels. DJ's freaking out. Dude. You should have watched the garage door open slowly. And the wheels were right there. That's so hot. I'm gonna fanboy hard over this Supra. Crazy. Oh, the Kevlar back, that is so hot. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not fake. Well, Donald got the fanboy over the Super for a while. Yeah, that is like my dream car, maybe one day. He had some cool stuff. At least yeah. we got the wheels. For sure, they're very, very, very clean. Where's this damn light? There so they're go. super clean, and then we're loaded up, um, and let's go see if they fit. Back to Connecticut. Well, Donald's really curious because there's a big light up something and uh, I guess it works as an attraction because Donald's attracted to it. So we I saw go. it on the highway, I was like, oh, that's pretty dope. So we went all the way out here to see what the hell is lit up. Ooh, more lights. Ooh, lights. Oh, there it is. Oh. What the? It's a water park. It's a water, what? I thought it was a Duncan. What the hell is this? All right, guys, so these wheels, they're Wedge Kron's Cerberus 1s. I think says, you say it's Cerberus, right? Cerberus. Cerberus. It's a three-headed mystical creature. But um, these wheels are 18 by 10, 18 by 11, I think plus 22 all around. So it should work pretty good. The front are mid-disc uh, faces. Shut up, Siri. And uh, so I'm going to need a few spacers to clear the TT, or to clear the 3MZX front brakes. And uh, But we should be all set. They're not my first choice of wheels, but they're different. Uh, and I'm really excited about them. You can't beat the white faces. So hopefully these uh, look good and fit good. I wish they were more of a concave face so the lip was bigger, but it should look pretty good. Donald's like so infatuated by these lights. <laughs> what a crash. Back and Donald's blowing a red light. Skirt. All right, so coffee and wheel fitment. And fender on. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't want to. Jimmy's not looking forward to that because he has nice, pretty paint. If I crack it, I'll literally cry. Yeah, I'm going to cry. I'm so he is our friend. He, yeah, so you're gonna, you might, you guys might see a grown man cry tonight. <laughs> happen. What's going on, Damien? What's up, guy? He's out here poking around. Yeah, we out here asking Jimmy, the V8 guru, bunch of, uh, I don't know shit. He knows a good amount. Bunch of questions about my LS, LS, 5.3 swap. So, uh, yeah, just getting stuff figured out. LSX. LS, LSX. I'm going to get the bat. No, dude, I'm going to get a, a C7 Corvette badge for the back. Oh, perfect. Screw <laughs> it. All right, guys. So the wheels are inside. I have them mocked up. Of course, they're like three inches lower than they're going to be because, you know, it's up in the air. But they fit quite well. Oh, these Jones right here? You ready for them? No, you gotta lower it first and then... Don't even show them on the... No. I have to show them. If you want. Should we? I would lower the bit Alright guys, I'm gonna make you keep watching this damn video. So I'm gonna take the wheels back off, roll the fenders, put that other coil over in, drop them, and then you could see them. It looks Full really effect. good. They're so. gonna hate me. I'll give them the, the rear fitment, how freaking minty it is. Is that good angle? Prime. <laughs> Let's get to work. They crack, I'm gonna cry. 
Um, we ain't gonna crack them. He gone the bitch, boy. All right, guys. So since the Z calipers are freaking huge, nothing fits on them. I even had to take off the caliper for the fender roller. So we're gonna heat it up. Hopefully the paint doesn't crack. It's old paint, so it probably will. Fingers crossed. Must be date night. Look at B Hall. Look, come on. Let's see. Let's see a little turn. Woo! Looking good. All right. All right. Shred it. <laughs> so we're gonna start with the quilver fully bottomed out and uh, go from there. Right, B Hall? So with the rears, the lip is really big and it's really, really, really thick. So I'm gonna have to roll the living crap out of these and it's not gonna be fun, I know that. So there's a mount right here, you guys can see it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut it straight right here. If not, it'll wanna bind up on the fold and make my life hell. So we're just gonna accept it and cut a slit right there. A lot of pressure. Your reflection in the car is like. Why is my nose all weird? <laughs> Dude, oh my oh, no. god. Snapchat filter. Feels <laughs> like a thumb thumb. Feels like a thumb thumb? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you guys. You're so cute. <laughs> Now we're gonna put the coil over it because this one is not even doesn't even have a coil over in it because we got lazy. Ugh, gotta love it. Someday I'm dim, I'm dim. Bye. Look at these though. These are actually nice. This is Bilstein's in quality. Someone cared about are those this car. Dude? Uh, this coil is inside the car. They're all slammed. So the rear is probably gonna tuck pretty heavy. We'll see how the front sits, <coughs> and we'll uh, we'll go from there because it's always way more fun starting low. And go up. And go up. So, the rears, I don't think you need any spacers right now. I, I honestly might want to put like a 5 mil spacer on it in the future. Um, but the fronts, we got to run 13 millimeters worth of spacers to clear the stupid big brakes on these stupid 3MZXs. And, uh, you know, it's not even the brakes that are that big. The rotor is just not recessed. So, hopefully we have enough threads with these mini little studs to get it on the ground. And then I'll order some extended lugs and we'll go from there. But... Let's get them fitted. Are you guys ready? You guys hyped? Oh, hell yeah. I can't wait to see this thing on the ground, finally. This is fitted. This is fitting good. Oh, boy. Okay, now the only thing that's going to suck is the front fitment right now. Um, I never adjusted my cast or anything. And if you guys don't know what caster is, caster is your position front to rear in the wheel well. So the caster might look a little funky up front. So they might fit a little differently, but they'll be on there. We'll get a rough idea. Boy. Boy. 13 mil spacer. Oh. Not, a, not a lot of lug. I don't think it grabs the lug at all. Oh, no! Oh, man. Oh. We tried fitting the wheel with these, and it was still hitting the caliper, and there just wasn't enough thread on the stud, so... Yeah, so, luckily we had these from Forever Ago, featuring Drew. Uh, Drew actually gave me these forever ago, so Drew, if you're watching, thank you for saving the day, homie. But these are, uh, these are 15 mils, so... Two mils wider than we're gonna run. Look right, at guys. that. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. And get a ha hacker garage out of here. Yo, know, shameless plug. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out. <laughs> so, um, wheels are on. My helmet doesn't look too horrible. Um, my PBMs are so rigid that like it sits in the air how it sits on the ground. These aren't the same, obviously. So, we're gonna see how much it goes down. Battery's about to die. With uh, <coughs> with the stance on it now. Let's see. We're gonna charge the battery first because it's dying, so we'll start. Damien's standing there so it doesn't tilt over. <laughs> Should be good. Boom. How's it looking, Garrett? Pretty good. And then. <laughs> Drop come on, it. Come on, come on, come on. Where's my money? Where's my money? Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. oh. There it is. I literally called it, dude. That fitment I is so it. holy it's not, I don't shit. Even, look how perfect that fitment it's is. It's touch, dude. It's gonna watch. Look at this. Right, guys, look, this look at this. On that lip. It's literally touching the tire lip. Wait, that is on. so See if awesome. I can get something in there, dude. It's, it's dance boy. Uh, Wait, oh, put yeah. it down in the Flex. Bird. Yo, show me your credit card information. Yeah, I got it right now, dude. Or, oh, hold your on. CBS card. Hold on. Will it fit? Will it fit? 
Oh, look at that. Damien's got money. He's got money fit. now. <laughs> <laughs> that's dude, all, did it, it fit though, right? Yeah. Well, that's once, awesome. Once it like once the springs settle and you burn through all this, dude, it's gonna bag fit. All right, let's do the front. Let's hopefully the f make sure the front hits. Now Z's front never usually goes that that low. I had to do some sketch shit on my uh, Red Z to make it work. So hopefully these will sit nice to, uh... damn! All right, stance prediction. All right, dude, stance prediction. If it had the VG still in it, it would be at the bottom <laughs> of this area. Right here. Yeah, right here. Yeah. We'd be talking uh, like, hold the whole I'm gonna half. guess like right, right yeah, here. Yeah, like the, the middle of the A, I think. Damn, dude, we were all wrong. We were, oh no! Top of the, wrong. top of the A. I was right. Dude, dude, top of the A. This is RSX, kid. It, they're not broken in yet. All right. Wow. Oh, Demon that's a, budge. a little bouncy. A little bit, you know. Oh, I want to get this thing lower in the front. The rear fit been so on point. Oh yeah, it is. So what we could do is we could add a little bit more, a little bit of a preload on it. So we could drop the strut into the collar, into the base more. Mm -hmm. And that should, cause it doesn't have much preload on it right now because I was being conservative. So let's uh, add some preload. That looks so dope tucking like that. That looks so sick. I'm such a fan of that. Like I wish my wheels were capable of tucking like that. 18 by 11 I, plus 22. I would Perfect totally size rock. for stock body Z, I guess, right? Yeah, I'm surprised that 11s fit this well. Like Yeah, it's stock. With a nice roll, they fit really well. Let's hope the front sits nice. So explain what you're doing. So I'm adding more. So um, <clears throat> you could, on a coilover, you could either thread the coil over, you could either thread the coil down, the coil spring, or you could thread the whole shock into the body. And naturally, to lower your car, you don't want to drop the spring, you want to drop the whole tire shock into the body. And so by compressing the spring more, it allows more threads on the shock to go into the <clears throat> body, so you can then lower the car more. So we're basically trading preload for height. Just about. Uh oh, I lowered that. It felt like a lot, so we'll see. I overcompensated for that side because it seems like that was tired before, so that honestly might be lower now. We'll see. Um, it might be too low, but is there such a thing? It's never too low, yeah. All right, so stance prediction. Are we, are we sitting uh, Below lit? the A. Below the A? Below the A, above right. the lip. I'm aiming for like, like right here. Right at this yeah. lip, like the rear ones. The, the, Sit. I'm gonna duff my bumper probably lowering it, but. Oh, it didn't even do anything. Did it? It's, it's better. No, it I did nothing. Hold on, maybe if we roll the car? That did nothing. We might just send it like that for now. Let him break in a little bit before mm -hmm. we play with him anymore. Yeah, um, I agree. Let me push him off the boards. And of course, once the J-Spec front bumper is on with the front lip and the side skirts are painted, woo -wee. the front lip does a lot. This is some good motivation for the Z. Much needed. Much needed. Quickly, I know this is gonna settle in, but I want to add a little bit more load to it and fix the camber on that side a little bit, and we'll we'll go from there, and then I'll call it a night. All right, we're gonna do it. Putting Garrett to work. Hashtag Garrett Priscotti. <laughs> Follow the hashtag. <laughs> so unfortunately, it didn't lower that much. So tomorrow, I'm gonna play with it more because it's super late. This side is still pretty decently higher than this side. I don't know if something's binding or not, or I just preset them way off and didn't notice it. Or I was just better at lowering it than you are. True. So we could do that. I also had to fix the camber and add some more cash to it because the wheel sits pretty far forward. But even tucking in the front, the drivability is actually still pretty good on the Zs. Like my Red Z, um, I can go full lock, forward and reverse without rubbing, which is pretty impressive. And I never bottom out in this car like ever, which is like, Pretty good, so though it might look a little, little low for a lot of you guys, I know quite a few of you guys out there probably aren't into stance and you're probably yelling at me right now, but the drivability is actually pretty pretty solid. There's not much of a compromise with this. So get the front a little bit lower, and honestly, that little little bit lower will clean up the whole thing. It always does. Get the J-Spec front bumper on, get a front lip on it, because it's pretty lip, lip tall right now, and uh, she should hit, but pretty happy with the purchase today. The wheels fit great. Uh, I mean, I had to put space in the front to clear the brakes, but fitment defender-wise, you really can't beat it. So that's about it. Today's been a long day, a lot of driving, but it was so worth it. And I don't know what else, but tomorrow, I, you know what? I really, really want to test fit the Inte Intellis, what is it? Intellesi. Intellesi is how you pronounce it, I guess. Algernons. On the, on the Beamer, because I feel like these would look beautiful. 
on the E36 because it has like that Euro style to it. Who knows? But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great night. Like, comment, subscribe, and goodbye, Donald. Peace, homie. I'll see you tomorrow. Later, guys.